Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about your fears. Now, trading is inherently risky. There's nothing certain about trading. Okay, you have to learn how to embrace risk, but this is not the way that our way humans are designed. Okay, we are designed uh, to be driven by fear. We are designed to be comfortable. So how do you actually overcome your fear and trade in a zone right, with a state of mind that uh, you know, you're not afraid of making mistakes and you know that uh, you accept that uh, you could be wrong. So in today's video, I want to show you how do you do that. Okay? Specifically, I want to go through uh, the three fears that you need to overcome if you want to be successful. Okay? And I don't just want to stop there. I don't just want to show you the three fears. I want to give you some practical solutions to overcome each of these fears. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, you will know that I'm very big on giving you uh, practical steps, actionable steps that you can take because there's honestly no point in uh, highlighting the fears and the issues that uh, you, are, you are going through but not giving you any solutions. Okay, That's not the purpose of uh, the videos that we create. The videos that we create are supposed to help you and give you actionable steps. Okay, So I'll go through the three fears, which is the fear of losing, the fear of missing out, and the fear of giving back your profits. Then I want to go through uh, each of these fields and provide you the solutions or at least what I think can help you uh, become a better trader. Okay, so let's go into the first fear, which is the fear of losing or also known as the fear of being wrong. Okay, here's the hard truth. Everyone hates losing money. No one loves losing money. Okay, if you can choose between winning money and losing money, everyone will choose winning money. But here's the thing. As traders, we are compensated for taking risks. So if you do not bet, you do not risk your money, you can't win. Okay, It's like you don't get something for nothing. So if you want to make money in trading, you need to risk. But what happens if you are like me okay, or you are like everyone else who you, you are afraid of losing money or you just don't like being wrong? Okay, Personally, I'm a perfectionist. I hate being wrong. So what is the solution? Okay, Because I say I'm going to give you some solution. Solution number one, is that uh, you want to apply proper risk management. Okay, so what do I mean by proper risk management? You should risk anywhere between 1% to 3% per trade. Okay, of course, uh, if you're more conservative, you can even do a 0.5, but basically you do not want to risk too big a uh, amount per trade. Okay, let's say your account size is $1,000. Uh, you do not want to be risking like $100 per trade. Okay, you want to risk something like maybe uh, $20. Okay, 2%, uh, 3%, $30. Okay, the reason for this is that because in trading, there's no such thing as 100%. So if there's no such thing as 100%, you need to be prepared if your trade goes sour. Okay, if you are part of our Telegram channel, you know that we do not make money all the time. Okay, there are some weeks that we lose money. In fact, there are even some months that we lose money. Okay, but it is this that helps us to stay profitable. Okay, so if you are afraid of losing money, reduce your risk. Reduce it to the point that you're comfortable taking the risk. The second solution I have for you is to embrace probability. See trading in terms of probability and not certainty. As I mentioned at the start of this video, there's no such thing as certainty when it comes to trading. Okay, But this is very easy to say. Okay, It's very easy for me to say, oh, you know, it's, uh, you just embrace probability and you don't worry about losing. Okay, It's very hard to do. It's something that uh, you grow into. Okay, it's something that I can't instill into you. I can only share with you, but it's something that you have to develop as you go into your, uh, through your journey as a trader. Now, the last one is the one that uh, I really recommend that you do. Okay? This is very important if uh, you hate being wrong or you fear losing. Okay? The solution that is practical is to actually adopt a high win rate short-term trading system. Okay? Why high win rate? Because you hate being wrong. So if you can find a uh, trading system that is right maybe 60 to 70% of the time, Okay, then uh, it will help your psychology a lot. And there are many trading systems out there. So this is easier to implement. It's easy to go out and find. You can check out uh, other mean reversion system. right? You don't have to look at our mean reversion algo. You can check out other people's uh, systems and look at uh, their win rate. So basically, you want to look for high win rate. And you also want to look for a short term. Okay, why short term? Because if it's long term and you need to hold the trade, uh, you need to have a strong psychology in order to hold the trade. So if you hate being wrong, 
and you want to make money and you want a high win rate, it's better that you shift to a short-term system where you do not have to hold a trade for too long. Okay, if you have to hold a trade for 30 minutes, uh, your psychology can need, needs to only be strong for 30 minutes. Let's say you hold a trade for 10 days and the market goes up and down, you need to have that psychology to be able to hold your trades for 10 days. So this is why I recommend that uh, you stick with a high win rate, short-term uh, trading strategy if you really uh, hate losing and you are perfectionist just like myself. Okay, in fact, a lot of our signals in the channel, in our Telegram channel is short term in nature because uh, that is my person personality and most of the trades are generated by me. Okay, so my signals are a reflection of uh, my psychology. Okay, so let's go on to num fear number two. Now, by the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, right, really appreciate you give us a thumbs up. Right? It doesn't take you more than three seconds, right? Hit that subscribe button at the same time because we create a lot of videos like this to help you. Okay, and you wouldn't want to miss any videos that we create. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide for you. So uh, the links are in the description. Just check that out and download it if you have not already done so. Okay, so fear number two is a fear of missing out. Have you ever wondered why you keep chasing trades and you know you get in the wrong level? It's very simple. It's because you're afraid of missing out. Okay, you know, kind of like when you go shopping and you see there's a sale and uh, you are you are incentivized to buy right away because you do not want to miss out on the sale okay so this is a very common uh, fear there's nothing much to explain about it but uh, let's just talk about the solution okay what's the solution you want to look at uh, multiple time frames and multiple instruments so that you have more trading opportunities think of it this way if you have a million and one opportunities in the market would you be afraid of missing out one Chances are you won't because you know that there's always another opportunity. But let's say you are swing trading or you are a position trading and you only get maybe um, three, you know, three setups in a year. It will be very painful for you to miss these three setups because you only get three setups in a year. But if let's say you get 20 setups every day and you were to miss one of these trade setups because you were sleeping or because you know, you're working or whatever it is, you wouldn't really worry about uh, missing out because... You, have, you know that you're going to get another 20 opportunities tomorrow. It's no big deal. Okay, so the solution is to look at multiple instruments and uh, time frames. Okay, you can also use a scanner. Okay, uh, you can use a stock scanner if you're trading stocks or you can use a, uh, you know, a indicator to filter out the chart patterns for you. So what I want to do right now is I want to show you two examples of a screener that you can use. Uh, basically, it's Finvis and TradingView. So let's uh, just uh, move on into this. Um, let me just change the screen and I'll go uh, into the um, Finvis. So right now, we are at Finvis. So you can see that Finvis is a free website. So what you can do is you just click, click on the word screener here and uh, you can screen it either by uh, fundamental or technical. So this is a very powerful free tool. Okay, you can even you know, filter out uh, the, the volatility, the moving average, is it above, below, the chart pattern, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is a very powerful tool. So if you are using this kind of screeners, you are able to find the best opportunities to trade. You do not have to you know, force a trade or you do not need to be worried uh, that you don't have any opportunity. Okay, so this can be solved. Uh, the other one is, uh, uh, is more for trading. This one over here, it's a stock screener. Just come over to trading view and uh, just come uh, over here, stock screener. Okay, then you just uh, use this, uh, what uh, your criteria. You can, uh, you know, unusual volume, high, low, and uh, all this kind of stuff. Okay, so these are the screeners that are, these are the screeners that you can use. So hopefully that is clear. Okay, this is a very easy problem to fix uh, if you just use these two solutions. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is the fear of giving back profits. So what happens is that when you have a winning position, uh, you keep looking at the market because you worry that uh, the market will come back, meaning that uh, you give out your profits. So maybe your comes up, 100 pips and then you know the market starts to retrace and your 100 pips uh, you know 100 pips goes down to uh, you know 30 pips and you get upset because you could have closed your trade when uh, price was at 100 pips meaning that uh, you were in profit 100 pips and now it's only 30 pips right because after all you know unrealized profits is not realized meaning that you can have the biggest unrealized profit but if it's not closed and it's not in your trading account then it doesn't count now, this is also why you probably find it hard to hold on to your winners because think of it from a psychological standpoint, right? Let's say you have a profit of, let's say, just 30 pips. Now, if you take this profit, it is going to be a winner, meaning that you made money and, you know, in your mind, it's a winner. But let's say you choose to hold on to this trade and this 30 pips, it could go into minus 30 pips. 
And this is very painful because you could say that, you know, I was up 30 pips and then now I'm down 30 pips. So collectively, you are actually down 60 pips if you really think about it. Because from your high to your low, this is plus 30 and this is minus 30. So effectively, you're actually down 60 pips. So it is very difficult for you to hold on to the trade psychologically because it doesn't make sense, right? If you have a winner and you want, to, you want to close it so that it is a winner rather than wait for the winner to become a loser. So this is why a lot of people, they can't hold on to the trade and that's why their risk to reward is not that good because they can't hold on psychologically. So of course, there is a solution. I have two solutions for you. Solution number one is that you want to throw your stop loss. So what do I mean by throw your stop loss? You can do a very simple thing like that. Let's say market is trending up in your direction. You can just put your stop loss here shift the stop loss uh, at each swing low okay the opposite is also true if it's a downtrend you can shift your stop loss just trail your stop loss so that uh, you're still locking in your profits while giving your trades a uh, room to breathe so if the market carries on in your favor you're going to make more money let's say if you are wrong meaning that price comes back up uh, you are still going to clo uh, close out your trade with uh, some good profit Okay, that's number one. Number two, which uh, I so recommend, but I, I don't prefer, I prefer number one, is that you want to take partial profits. So let's say uh, in our Telegram channel, we have three take profits and sometimes price does this, you know, it comes down and then goes up, comes back down, goes up. So what you can do is uh, this TP1. Okay, if you're not already part of our Telegram channel, right, make sure you check that out. Uh, the link is in the description. But let's say, uh, you know, in our Telegram channel, we normally give three take profit. Uh, you can take, you know, 30% here. You can take like 50% here and you know you can take like the remaining 20% here. So you can take partial profits just to satisfy your fear. Okay, just to make sure that you're not fearful. So this is something that uh, you can take. This is something that I think a lot of uh, traders, they, they forget that you know they don't have to exit and enter the entire position at one time. They can always enter in you know stages. You can slowly accumulate your position and you can slowly exit your position. Okay, so hopefully this is uh, something that you implement because uh, if you're not really implementing this, then uh, chances are you can't. You are not really holding your winners. So you need to overcome this fear, okay? And that's how you do it is by using these two uh, solutions that I have for you, okay? So as a recap, in today's video, I talk about the three fears you need to overcome, okay? Just to be clear, all of us have this fear, okay? Even professional traders. So it, it's not wrong to feel this way. We are humans. We are designed this way. But it is how you manage. And that is why in today's video, I gave you practical steps on how to overcome the fear of losing, the fear of missing out, and the fear of giving back profits. So if you need, you know, to go back to this video and check uh, the, the practical solutions that we have for you, just feel free to uh, scroll back, right? rewind this video, rewatch it, and just write some notes. Okay, as always, uh, we love to connect with you. Let us know if you have any questions, you have any other fears that you need help with, you need practical solutions to your problems, we love to help you. Okay, we do read every single one of your comments, right? So please uh, give us a thumbs up if you have not already, really, really appreciate it. Okay, not thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.